Hi everyone. Um, I'm going to do a nice chalk pastel drawing of some daffodils. So just because it's spring and in my garden there are lots of different types of daffodils. So I just went out and I picked these four here. Um, I picked them because they were all slightly different. Um, and they've got some nice shapes and some nice colours on them. So I'm going to have a little look at them now. And this little tiny one here has a little tube in the center and one, two, three, four, five, six petals. So I'm just going to draw some of the shapes that we're going to be thinking about up here. So I'm going to be looking for circles, ovals, regular shapes. I will be looking for rectangles, squares and triangles. So I can see that the center part here has a circle and it's got a little wiggledy edge all the way around. And um, this one here has a really, really wiggledy edge on the orange part. And that's very important for it to look like a daffodil. And you can see all the different fluffy petals on the inside. And then obviously this one's much bigger than the little small one. So that will make a nice drawing for me. So I'm going to start with the tiny one and I can see that it's got more of a centre which is small like that. I can see that it's got a little centre part there, a little tiny circle and then its petals are oval and they have a little point on it. So there's one petal, two, three, and six and I can see that its stem goes down like that and it's got a little round part here I draw that in and then it goes all the way down my page there that's the first daffodil then my one here I can see that it's got a little star shape in there actually where all the little pollen is and um, so I'm going to draw a wavy wiggly shape for the orange part here. Nice and big. And then the petals are much bigger. So there's one petal there. And they're much rounder as well compared to the small one. You can see they're a different shape altogether, even though they're both daffodils. Two. And I'm gonna have this one go behind here. Three. Four, five, and six. And then I'm going to draw the stem like this as well. And I'm going to draw the little star shape that I saw in the middle there. And then this one I think would be nice and interesting to draw from the side because it's got a really long tube on the side here. So maybe I'll fit it here and I'm going to draw it sideways and I can see that it's got one edge and a second edge here where I can actually put my finger in. So I'm going to draw a wavy line like that and a wavy line like that so that it looks like it's going in and I can see that there's a tiny little stamen popping out so that makes that look even more treaty and it has a flower petal growing up and these ones are more pointed compared to that one so I'm going to make it like that one two three four five Nice little piece of room here now for my other daffodil here and this one is all yellow and it's very similar to this one but it's just it's all yellow so I'm going to draw it going down wavy and I'm going to draw the petals like this one two three Okay, 
Okay, so there's my basic drawing all done out. And now I'm going to use some pastels. So these pastels are very good because they've got a lot of different colours that we can use to draw our daffodils. So I think it might be nice to start with the, the white one here. So I'm going to pick this orange colour first. And I'm going to colour that all in orange to match the real life daffodil. Now I'm using some coloured sugar paper because sugar paper has a nice kind of grip so that the dusty pastels will actually um, stick to it. So I'm going to use this darker shade to draw out the edge of my daffodil. And I can see that it's got some white. So I'm going to use my white to colour in the star shape that I saw. That looks quite nice. And I'm going to colour in the petals next. colour because some of the petals have shadows and I might draw some shadows on the petals to make it look even more realistic. Like this. I can see this tiny little one has lemon petals so I'm going to use this lemon creamy colour to shade those in. Lots of dust, you can just give it a little blow and it'll float off. And I think this yellow might be good for the inside part of this little flower here because it's a nice deep yellow. And I want it to look a different shade. Maybe I could even use some of this orange color to help it to stand out a little bit more. And I can mix them together a little bit. Yeah. Um, then this one is here, so again I'm going to use my orange shade. shade to make it look like it's got a shadow on it. I can rub that in so you can actually see. And then maybe underneath to make it look really 3D I'm going to do some shading. And the chalk will mix together so if you wanted to make orange darker you can add some red in. If you want the orange to be brighter so the top part would be where the light would be hitting on. You could put a bit of yellow on brighten that part and it'll look really treaty like so. I'm going to then maybe shade in the petals Yes. 
Good evening mix some white cream colour over to blend them together and some of the gaps. Okay, some of the light will be shining on. And then for the yellow one, I'm going to get my yellow pastel again. base coat down. If you don't have chalk pastels, oil pastels will work too. They'll just give a different effect. They're a little bit more kind of softer maybe and they'll blend in a different way but they'll still blend. They'll give a nice effect too. And if you've other flowers like tulips even or some crocuses you could draw those. Um, my daffodils were looking quite nice today, so I said they'd be quite nice to draw. Now, so this yellow daffodil is sort of the same yellow all over, so I'm going to colour it all in yellow. But when you colour it all the same shade, your detail will disappear. So I need to be clever now, and I'm going to use some other shades to make the tube stand out again. So. And maybe this dark golden yellow, yellow ochre. I could shade that in on the inside. And that, that kind of didn't really work very well, so I'm gonna maybe need to use my orange. So let's try the orange on the inside. And the orange hasn't really worked either. <laughs> So I'm going to try some brown. That happens sometimes when colours don't mix. Now the brown has given me a little bit of a shadow for the inside, like that. And I'm going to use my brown now to do some shadow here. And I'm going to blend it into the yellow, like that. Maybe some white then to kind of highlight okay and I'm going to shade on where I see some of the light on the yellow part here I could even use some of this brown again to some of the shadows on the yellow. These pastels are a little bit hard. Usually a soft pastel would blend easier and give more color. So that's, that's the yellows. Now I'm gonna use some of these greens Maybe this one to start with a good match. To draw the stems of the daffodils. Like that. And you could use some blue to make the shadows on the daffodil stems if you want to make some darker bits. And blend it together and then I'm gonna maybe I quite like that blue I could sketch some shapes of blue over my paper for the sky like this and maybe some of this blue too and mix them together texture to the paper.
And here we have a nice little sketch of some daffodils. So I look forward to seeing some of your um, drawings now. Um, I'd like to see whatever flowers you have in your garden. And if you want to even post like a photo of your gardens, that'd be great too. So I look forward to seeing what you make. Good luck.